Hi there, it's Katya Walton here, and today I'm looking at the dog food website. The brand is called Suzy's CBD Treats. And before we even start talking about design, I uh, want to discuss branding, a dog food product in general, so we can have some foundation to analyze design. So just out of my mind, I can see two possible lines to brand a dog food product. Uh, you can either talk about the joy aspect of it, or you can talk about how. So if you're choosing the first idea, your, uh, your brand message is crafted around the idea of uh, how joyful, how awesome it is to be healthy. And you are um, growing a playful brand that is focuses on fun, celebration, and happiness. Where the second brand would be talking to people who are frustrated, who are annoyed, who experience um, some sort of inconveniences because their dog is not healthy. And marketing these two different brands, uh, you would be using different techniques. You will be uh, building different corporations, you would, your content would be different. And, um, I just wanted to underline that these are two completely different lines. And it looks to me like Susie's CBD uh, treats is taking the first line approach. It talks about joy and happiness and happy animals. So uh, when I will be talking about design, I will be analyzing it from that perspective, that that's the impression they want to build and that's the target audience they are after. I also want to say a few words about our farm thing because this company, they own their own farm and they do the whole production by themselves, uh, which shares uh, a lot of passion and care uh, behind, uh, behind their own brand. And they think it's a pretty cool thing. But the way it's executed right now, it's sort of a standalone thing. There are a few places on this website where you can get this information from, like meet our partners page, our farm page, partially the blog. Um, but this story is sort of not merged with, um, with the main content. So I think you can enhance, enhance this brand if you um, position our farm piece from an angle like this is our culture, this is how we do things here, this is what we care about. Um, and to communicate that better, to have that as a cohesive message, you will need to do a few adjustments. First of all, it's um, a copywriting thing. Uh, you would probably need to merge our partners, um, what else, our farm, and maybe something from the blog and uh, put it somewhere in the homepage. Uh, and it will also lead to some adjustments in the website structure, right? Uh, but I would really recommend that. So, design. Does Susie's use use CBD treats communicating that joy and happiness of having a dog? I think it does quite a bit. You can see it um, all over the website in the fonts. They look fun-ish. Um, most of the imagery on the website, it's images of happy animals and humans as well. Uh, the dog on the logo, it's a happy looking dog. Uh, so I think that's, these are the points that this brand is doing well in terms of communicating the message. Though I see some things that could be uh, executed better and um, let's discuss them. The logo, there are two parts to it. There are these words, Suzy CBD treats, and there's also an image of a dog. And um, they, together, they don't look cohesive at all. Why? Because they are done in two completely different styles. The dog looks like an illustration. Uh, it has many details and it looks like an actual dog. It looks like it's hand-drawn, where the words, they look uh, digital-ish. 
Um, and these two elements, they have to match. Um, so I would suggest that this brand choose one specific line, either go with the illustration style, and that means that um, many of the images that they use, it has to be illustrations. Like instead of uh, pictures of the product, it could be an illustration. Uh, sa same applies to their social media and images on other platforms, by the way. So it means that this brand would have to create illustrations consistently. So maybe it's not a good choice. And right now I see that uh, it's not what they do on their website. So maybe uh, getting rid of this illustration style dog and choose another style of a dog image would be a better choice for them. Uh, another point I'm asking myself, I'm looking at the font, it's using CBD treats, and I'm asking myself, does it look too childish to me? Mm, I'm not sure, that's something I would suggest uh, this company think about. Uh, because as much as you want to communicate fun and joy, you also want to, to be seen professional, right? And that's, um, that's a very thin line. You need to find, you need to find your own balance between fun and professional. And another tiny detail about the logo. I can see that the idea was to write these words in a semicircle uh, but the way it's done now it doesn't look as, like a semicircle it looks like three um, three three straight lines uh, i would suggest uh, adjusting that it just will look more more beautiful now let's talk about colors i can see that the original idea for the color palette for this brand was this muted green color blue and also sometimes you can see red elements like this button uh, how well does this color palette communicate that joy and happiness well probably to some extent though i can see um, how this company can go with more vivid and bold and bright colors and it would match the the messaging even better now a very important thing about your brand colors is that it's one thing to pick your color palette but then you also need to execute it all across your visual marketing assets. So if I look at this website, where do I see these brand colors that I just mentioned? If we don't pay attention to these blue piece, it's pretty much only the headlines. You see these colorful blocks under the headlines? It's pretty much all, all only there. And uh, there is a one common mistake that people often do is that they um, they pick their color palette, they do colorful headlines and buttons on their website, and then they find whatever images and photos of their product or stock photos they can find, and that often doesn't look cohesive because they don't adjust the colors to the, to each other. So I don't know if it's the case for this side or not, but if you look at the other images that they use, there are other colors that are not the brand colors. For example, you can see the lots of beige color, maroon-ish, the color of the product itself. So I think that is definitely something that, that needs to be adjusted. Um, yeah. How could it be done? Uh, so I can see a few potential way to match all the colors on the website for this brand specifically. It can either include this beige uh, muted maroon color in their color palette because that's um, it would match the photos that they already use. Or another way would be adjusting the colors in the imagery so they look more alike like the, the color palette. It would be adding more green and blue to the, um, to the photos. Since we started talking about images, I want to go back at the top of the page and brutally criticize the slider. <laughs> they uh, tend to not work in 99% of the cases when people use them. 
and there is a small percentage when it makes sense to uh, to test the slider when you have a variety of a product and uh, you want to show that you have a few a few options though even in these situations they tend to perform really badly on tests but for this brand specifically, I think there is no sense in using a slider image at all. It looks like you are not sure what you want to communicate, like where this and also where that, and read that copy and see that image. Um, I think that's something to get rid of for sure. <laughs> Please do it right now because it just confuses people. The last little thing I want to comment on is the spacing in between all the elements of the website. So if you take a closer look, for example, at the width of each section, they're different. Uh, the spaces in between header and image, image and header, image and video, in header and body copy, uh, they all look different. And while it's really Thing, really small and easy thing to adjust. It actually has a great impact on how professional your website looks. So I, I suggest you do all these adjustments. So that's all I have to say about the main page of the website so far. I hope it was helpful. Good luck using CBD treats. <laughs>